patience was tested today as people face long lines at the airports or heavy traffic during their journey on the roadways. We're taking a live look at some of the traffic tonight in Maryland. It looks like business as usual from Cecil County to the city on over to Anne Arundel County, but it was a very different story just hours ago. Devin Bartolotta has more from travelers on the roads and in the air. With 4.2 million people expected to fly over Thanksgiving weekend nationwide, Baltimore saw full flights and full highways to get here. Oh, there's no place like the highway at the holidays. We came down 95. And uh, that was backed up, and then this was backed up right out here. All day Sunday, millions in Baltimore and across the country hit the road. At nearly every curve of the Beltway, drivers saw bumper to bumper backups and brake lights. At BWI Airport, long but steady moving security lines. Some flights delayed or canceled due to weather in other cities, others traveling from warm weather. We are coming from Punta Cana. We went there for Thanksgiving. Ben Herbert padded in extra time to make his flight. Manchester, New Hampshire, and then to University of New Hampshire. Nationwide, more than 48 million people were expected to travel by ramp, road, or rail, the highest volume since 2005. Just spending time with family, going to the Ravens game. We won. We won. Let's go. So I'm it was a good wagon. holiday. It was a good holiday. One of the busiest travel days of the year, pushing rush hour to an all day event. It wasn't smooth travels for everyone. AAA estimated they would rescue 360,000 stranded drivers nationwide this Thanksgiving weekend. At BWI, I'm Devin Bartolotta for WJZ.